Okay, let's take a look at a couple more examples if you need them. All right, so again, just some reminders for us. We have balanced. All right, let's take a look at a couple more examples. You do not need to write these down if you don't want to. If you want extra ones, add them to the bottom of your paper. All right, so we're going to remember that we have two types of balanced versus unbalanced. So balanced versus unbalanced. So if our forces are balanced, are our arrows the same or are they different? They are the same. If our forces are unbalanced, are they the same or are they different? They are different. Okay, and we're going to recall what our four different forces are. Force applied, that's your push or your pull. Force friction, right, which is a resistance change here. And remember that these are opposite in direction. And then we have our force gravity, which is always pulling us downwards, and our force normal, which is opposite to the force of gravity. All right, so as we go in and we look at this, the Diet Coke right at the top, that's just sitting there. Are we balanced or unbalanced? We're balanced because it's just sitting there. All right, so they should all be the same size arrow. So I could go in and just draw four balanced arrows to start with. Let's pretend the cocaine is being pushed to the right. So we're going to call that our force applied. What force is opposite applied? Force friction, right? We can still have an applied force even though it's not moving. I can be pushing it to the right, but my friction could be so strong that I can't move it. All right, what force is always pulling downwards? Force gravity. And what force is always opposite? Force normal. Okay, let's take a look at our cat and the Diet Coke. Are the, ba are the forces balanced or unbalanced? They are unbalanced because that Diet Coke can go from sitting to moving. So, are our arrows going to be the same or are they going to be different? They're going to be different. Okay, our force applied is clearly stronger than our force of friction. So that means I'm going to draw a longer arrow to show that the force applied is strong while my force of friction is weaker. What force always acts downwards? That would be force of gravity. And what's acting upwards? Force normal. And what's winning out normal or gravity? Gravity is clearly winning as our can goes towards the floor. All right, let's take a look at the dog pushing the shopping cart. Are our forces balanced or unbalanced? They are unbalanced because our shopping cart goes from not moving to moving. All right, and in which direction is our force applied? To the right, because that is the direction our dog is pushing the cart and the direction it's moving. So my longer arrow is going to be to the right, and that's my force applied. What always comes opposite? My force of friction. So that arrow is going to be slightly smaller because the cart is moving. What force is always pulling us downwards? That would be force gravity. And what is opposite of force gravity? That is force normal. All right, in our last example, let's take a look at the dog pulling the suitcase. Are we balanced or unbalanced? We are unbalanced again because our suitcase is moving. So our arrow is going to be the same. Are they going to be different? 
they're going to be different. So which direction is winning? This direction is clearly winning, so we're going to do a larger arrow. So opposite that would be a smaller arrow. Remember, we are always still having something pulling us down and something pulling us up. Otherwise, we would just be floating in the air. So what force is winning? The force applied. What force is always opposite applied? That would be friction. What force is always pulling us down? That's force gravity. And what is always opposite of force gravity? Force normal.